What's going on, Leo? What's up, Leo? This is your girl, D with 8th House Energy, here to bring you a January 2020 general reading. What's going on, Leo? Happy New Year. Hope you enjoyed your holiday season. Those who are happy, it's over. That's what's up. It's over. Ready to move on. Let's see what 2020 is bringing. Leo, thank you so much for your love and support throughout 2019. Can't wait to see what you guys are doing in the 2020 new decade. All right. So let's see what's up with you. Oh, but this is general. I do need to let you know that. So please keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. We're going to do a Celtic cross. If you want a personal reading, the information's in the box below. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Thank you, thank you. Leo, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, Libra energy. Someone's getting over a broken heart. We have the Six of Cups. Scorpio energy, somebody reminiscing. Thinking about the past. And then we have the Six of Wands in reverse. And this is someone taking a loss. You know, accepting the loss in the relationship here. The fight, you know, in this type of uh, emotional uh, situation here. So this is what I'm getting here with the energies coming in. Now, as far as the current situation here, Leo... We have the Fool. This is Uranus energy, also Aries energy. But this is um, you beginning anew. You know, wanting something new. Um, being excited about having something new. Um, this is you taking the initiative to move on. So if this is you here with this energy... This is you, you know, getting over it, basically, and ready to move on. You know, you've gotten past it. These are the stages that you went through. You know, the heartbreak, remembering it, looking back on it, reflecting on it, learning lessons from it, and then realizing that, you know, what you could have did differently and why you didn't win. You know, learning the lessons. And so... Now that you learned the lessons, you you went through those stages. That's the stages you have to go through to heal before you can move on. Else you're just going to repeat those lessons. So you did that. So now you're ready. Right? Now the um, energies that are positively or negatively affecting this new change that you want is King of Cups and Reverse Energy. Maybe some of you have um, a drinking problem or some of you have a problem with drugs or alcohol or addiction of some sort. You know, maybe you're not quite addicted, but you starting to pick up the amount of uh, drinking that you're doing. Okay. Hmm. I'm not really getting too much of a manipulative energy, more so than just somebody right now who is um, abusing substances of some sort, you know, and they want to they wanna put that to the side. Maybe that's what you were doing to cope through all of this or through a part of it, you know, and you're ready to put that to the side as well. So, you, you know, you're tackling different stages of your life here and, and you're ready to take on that is what I'm getting for some of you. So you're ready to stop drinking or stop, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you slow down or just cut down on it. But um, maybe that's part of the, of what was going on and why you were in that situation. But um, let's see where your head is at. So we have the Four of Swords. So you want peace. You want peace. You know. Um, or you're at a state of peace right now. You're at peace. You're no longer in pain with the Three of Three of Swords here in reverse. That means you've been through that pain. You're done. You've already gone through and assessed everything that went on with the situation. You've learned your lessons. So you're ready to move on. And now you're ready to tackle, you know, maybe the um, the behavior that got you in that situation. Or, you know, whether it was 
you being maybe manipulative, emotionally manipulative, and then, you know, someone realizing that and then not dealing with you. Um, or maybe this is somebody doing that to you, emotionally manipulative, and you're ready to get rid of that energy out of your life. Okay? Because you had enough. But um, I'm definitely getting you want peace or you're at peace, you know? Now, in the past, I have the Six of Swords. With the Six of Swords, this is somebody um, deciding to leave a situation. Okay, looking for um, peace, Four of Swords. Okay? Because with the Five of Swords, it would conflict, games, back and forth. You had to realize that this was a situation that wasn't any good for you. And then you elevated to the Six of Swords and you decided to leave the situation. Okay? So, but at the Four of Swords level, you're, you're desiring peace. You're wanting peace. And so, that's when you fight to get it to the, at the fifth level. And then here we are, you walk away. So that's what's up. Now, in the recent past... Three of coins in reverse. So, you know, in the past you might have been putting in work into a situation. You know, you may have been investing time, energy, and effort into um, a situation. And maybe you found out that you weren't the only one who was. Okay? So... This also tells me that you walked away and in the recent past you may have found out that this person was dealing with someone else while they were dealing with you. Maybe you weren't sure about it before. Maybe something else occurred where that made you walk away. And then later on in the recent past you found out that there were other people involved. And so, you know, you could be happy. You know, and you realize this person was just a manipulative individual. That's what I'm getting for some of you. But, um, in the, wait, hold on a minute. All right, sorry about that, Leo. So, I'm showing that in the near future, you have temperance. Okay. So this is you getting that peace of mind. This is you restoring balance. Realizing that you want something new, you know, or, or taking action in reference to you wanting something new. So this is your current energy. So for some of you, you know, this is what's going to happen. For some of you, you've already been through this. If this resonates. Now in your hopes, Ace of Wands, you're ready. You're ready. You know, you really want this. And this is what's in your fears, though. So you're afraid of what could happen. Not necessarily afraid, you're just anxious as hell. Like, you know, not knowing what's coming, but super excited about it, ready to take it on. You know, just, just that type of feeling where you're just really anxious about it. And how people see you. High Priestess in Reverse, Piscean Energy. People could see you as somebody who um, is more um, open about what was going on. And more accepting about what was going on. And they see the change in you. You know, um, maybe you're communicating more with people. You know, who knew what was going on with this situation. You know, maybe your friends or family, whoever you talk to about this situation. Maybe they see that, you know, you're making some strides. You know, to um, take action. And that you understand what's going on, at least, anyway. But in your hopes, you want this to come to an end. You're hoping that you did everything you needed to do to get out of this situation. But you shouldn't be hoping this. You should know this. Because when you have the world here, this is the universe saying that, you know, you learned your lesson. You know, so you wouldn't be put through this type of test anymore. 
You know, the universe wouldn't send anybody else your way with these same type of situations. So this is what you're hoping for. Like, you never run into nothing like this ever again. This is what I'm getting with this card here. Um, Your outcome here. Five of Swords. This is you realizing that this situation was just... Not beneficial to you at all. Accepting that. You know? So, um, I do want to clarify some of this, too. I want to clarify this Ace of Wands and your fears. You know, this is like a lot of anxiety here. And I want to see what it is that you're anxious about. Why are you so anxious And then what information have you revealed or what can people see about you in reference to this change that they see? Because, you know, um, you're either communicating with people, letting people know what was going on. Hmm. Yeah, I want to find that out. So... I'm going to go ahead and start clarifying, but we're going to take this over to the extended to uh, find out what's going on. But before we do that, let's do this. For those who can't come over to the extended, the link is down below. I'm going to pull some Oracle um, energy cards and see what the universe has for you. All right. And make sure you get the um, message, the guidance from the universe here in reference to what you should do in this situation. Now, you always have free will, of course, but if this resonates with you, then we'll see what advice we have for you. Okay, so this is number 44, woman holding a heart. All right, so let's see. I don't break down master numbers, which are double digits, but if you want to, that's an eight. But I usually don't. From my understanding, you're not supposed to, but some people do. All right, so it says, a woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You're an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life, and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help you with issues of love, family, and emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend a new love interest or a friend coming your way. Interesting. Okay, so this is this is positive energy. At least you have someone who's coming your way who is going to be a, a positive reflect a positive uh, a positive addition to your life. You know what I mean? So that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful energy. So maybe this person will help you get through what you're going through here with this five of swords energy. You um getting out of this situation for some of you. You know, you're fresh out of this with the Six of Wands. I'm sorry, with the Six of Cups energy. You're fresh out of this and still still vulnerable. And so you need a friend. You know, somebody who's supportive, who's going to come and check on you, make sure you're good. You know? Um, and it says here, this is someone who's going to help you with issues of love, family, and emotion. So this is just the type of friend you need. And that's a beautiful thing. So the universe is sending you some love, sending you some love. So take advantage of it. Don't lash out on a person. You know, you'll sense it when you're around this person. You're very intuitive. You know, you'll be able to pick that up. So just keep that in mind that that's coming towards you. So hold on, you know. Let's see what else we got. Let's do a spirit animal oracle. So, Leo, what we 
got for the new year? Uh, all right, let's do it this way. All right, what is that? I flew right out. It says, Rabbit Spirit. Now is a lucky time. Number 49. All right, that's 13. And so that's the death card. If it's a major arcana, that's the number 13. And this is, now is a lucky time, Rabbit Spirit. So let's see what that is about. Because um, this could be about renewal, you know, starting things over with the death card symbolizing the number 13 when you break down 49. But let's see. Oops. Okay, so it says a sunny, mellow, a sunny meadow calls and rabbit spirit appears to lend out your dark warren and into to lend you out of to lead you out of the dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience it may seem safe below ground but the magic happens when you come out and take a risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new you are being in invited into a new life that you have no experience with but have no fear Today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirit's sunny and prolific energy. At this time, whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground. There are no mistakes, really, when you are co-creating with spirit. So let new ideas spring to the surface, knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibility. So this is beautiful. So anything that you, you know, you're in the position right now where you want to start anew. So this is Spirit's message saying, right on time. The rabbit represents spring. All right, we got the fool card. This is Aries energy, okay? So this is the same message here. It's like it's okay. You know, that's what you want. Spirit is saying that you're aligned with their path. That's what's aligned with your path. It's something new. So take that. Hopefully that resonates with you. Let me see. Do I got another one here? Oh, let's look at the um, messages of love. Okay, because this is um, a situation where, you know, there was some heartbreak. We have support. It says, lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay, so we have the three of coins here. That was in the recent past. So in the recent past, like when you left in the, in, in the further, in back in the past, right? Let's stop and start. So back in the past, you left the situation, okay? So that was like maybe a while back. Now, most recently, you know, you're here trying to get over this and you don't really have any friends or you haven't reached out to anybody and spoken to anybody about this. So this is saying that maybe you should, you know, this is a good time. If you've been thinking about, you know, reaching out to a family member or friend that you haven't talked to in a while, you know, to break the ice or what have you, is now is a good time to do it. You know, because this is um, Spirit's way of saying that, you know, they're going to make that person open to you and supportive to you and you supportive to them. They may need you too. All right. So that's what I'm getting strongly with that. And I'm getting um, vulnerability here. It says you can be completely open with this person. So this person that you're reaching out to, you know, if this is someone that you know you can trust, it's just a matter of you maybe reaching out, then it's worth the try. You know, and, and once you do reach out, you know that it's meant for you to open up to this person, especially if they re respond back to you, you know, but spirit is saying that this is what's going to happen. So, and then for some of you, we have different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So this is why we have the five of swords energy here. You don't share the same vision. So you keep putting yourself in a position where you're going to constantly be in conflict. You're going to constantly be frustrated, you know, and anxious. You know, this is, could be you going loony, you know, afraid of losing it. That's what's in your fears. But, um, you know, you and this person are not aligned. So this wouldn't be a good connection for some of you. And we know that for a fact because we have the Three of Swords in reverse here. So 
I hope that resonated with you guys. We're going to go ahead to the extended and clarify these cards and get a better understanding of what's going on. The link to the extended is down below, so please feel free to join. But if you can't, um, just take the message here that um, we got with these oracles to help you, you know, if this is a situation that you resonate with. If so, please um, click the like button. If you want to leave a comment, I'd love to read it. I appreciate you guys stopping in, Leo. Um, Happy New Year again, and I will talk to you guys for your general read um, in February. But stay tuned for the weeklies we got coming up for the month of January. Love you, Leo. Peace.